So the American bullfrog has very large tadpoles, and these tadpoles can take several years to develop into frogs, which is why bullfrogs are associated with permanent bodies of water. And aside from the large size, the distinguishing characteristic for bullfrog tadpoles are these little black spots all over the tail, which is this, and the main body. This little tadpole happens to have tiny little legs developing. And I'll show you this guy has slightly larger legs. And so both of these tadpoles will likely need another year to develop um, because it's already mid-September and there likely won't be enough warm days for them to develop four legs, resorb the tail and jump on land um, and then find a hibernacula spot before the winter comes. However, this little guy is, is likely ready to turn into a frog. He already has his back legs fully developed and his front legs, but you can still see he has his little tail nubbin. So he, he'll be ready for this year. Oh, thanks Lucy, you like him? Yes. Is he cute? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, he rises up. Yep, he did. Okay. Thank you. And then these two are sub-adult bullfrogs. And it, oh, well, that one's gone. <laughs> That's all right, their little stream is right here. So once bullfrogs are fully developed, you can see their really long legs. The front feet have no webbing, but the back feet have extensive webbing. And this really allows them to swim quite well. And then finally, this is an adult female bullfrog. Ooh. Well, she's gone. <laughs> On this subadult bullfrog, you can see the same features, namely this dorsolateral groove, which in bullfrogs starts at the eye and then makes a right hand turn at the ear or the tympanic membrane. And that's it. And this dorsolateral groove or dorsolateral ridge is what differentiates the bullfrog from the similar green frog, which is Rana clamatans. Um, in that species, this dorsolateral groove, instead of just turning right at the ear, goes all the way down to the hip bone. And I will try to find a green frog to show you that difference. Green frogs also have a pointier nose compared to the bullfrog. Um, and what you'll notice in bullfrogs is that they have a white belly um, with this gray modeling on the throat and the lower legs. And so this is a bullfrog.